So FIFA 12 came out 10 years ago, and what I decided to do, I decided to compare teams from then to now to look at sort of the mice, debate whether the squads are better, and what better place to start with Arsenal. I mean, just look at this team and the memories here. I actually think, in some ways, it's quite similar, you could say, to the team now. People are going to disagree with that, of course. This is pre -Ozil. You've got uh, Chesney, you've got that back four. You've got Son, you've got Wilsh, you've got Arteta, who obviously now the manager. You've got Walcott, Van, Van Persie is a difference, a key difference. Javinho, who has been honest, was much better on FIFA than he was in real life for Arsenal. Uh, it's a solid team. It, it, it was what it was at the time. It's nostalgic for me. Like some of those players oh, I love playing with. You've got Young Rams, got Shavin. Shamak was 81 rated, which is just mental. Um, he was actually a very good striker before he turned out. He still did his bit. Um, you've got Giroud, not that Giroud. This guy, I just don't know how Arsenal fans what you think of him. You have Fring, Pong, Ben Ayun, Rizitsky, who are injured, Zayabi, who um, injuries, of course. You've got Young Oxo Chamberlain in there. And yeah, so this squad was pretty decent, I think you can all agree. Uh, now, the modern day one. Let's have a look. So you've got um, obviously Ramsdale. I think that's quite similar to Chesney. Ben Ayun, Chesney was still sort of up and coming and raw. I was a big fan of Chesney at the time, and I'm a big fan of Ramsdale now. Uh, that back four, really solid. That that original back four was solid, but I think I think Arsenal on paper are actually building something decent. I don't know if Arteta is the best manager to bring them forward, but I actually think they're bringing, you know, they've got a really decent team. They really should be getting top four uh, this season, in my opinion. They should be sneaking that fourth place spot over West Ham and Tottenham, maybe even Man United. They shouldn't be beating Man United squad. I think Man United squad is better. With the way they're playing, I think they'd be really good if they don't get top four. Uh, the striker is the issue. Obviously, Van Persie, nothing will compare, nothing against like, is that whatever. Obviously, Bamiyan's gone now on paper. But, like, yeah, I, I think that's the difference. Was this poor? Like, the year before I signed Ozil, um, no one really compares to him. I think yeah, they've got some decent players, especially they've got some good youth coming through. I would not know how to split those two teams. And Snalge would obviously tell me that the FIFA 12 won just because they've got Van Persie. I don't know. I, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Chelsea's FIFA 12 team. I mean, when we compare this in a minute, this is going to be tough. Just bear in mind, this team finished sixth in the Premier League under Villas Boas and Di Matteo, but they won the Champions League. Obviously, the 22 team was the squad that basically most of them won the Champions League before. So, I mean, you've got checking goal, you've got Joseph Asungo, you've got Ivan, you've got Terry, you've got Ashley Cole. I mean, that's just legendary in itself. Um... And then he got loud. I think the thing is, obviously, Torres, did he hit? He scored the goal in his semi final. Got Torres and Drogba, that's just unbelievable. If I'm looking at this from an overall like, FIFA point of view, I'm just looking at in awe of Torres, Lampard, and Drogba. That's unbelievable. Um, you know, it was a new era of Villas Boas since the next Mourinho didn't particularly go well. But I mean, oh, the memories of these players, the memories Drogba, I miss him. These are my favourite, just as a neutral, one of my favourite ever Premier League strikers. Maluda, Kalu, and Nelka were still there. Josh McCreckwin, that didn't quite go well. Ramirez, Alex, his free kicks were unbelievable. Um, Daniel Sturridge, they didn't even... I smell, I forgot he was there at that time. Uh, and you got Essien still. There's a lot of depth still. We've got Lukaku um, in his first spell, of course. Ross Turnbull, I mean, that wins it on itself. Now let's look at their team now. I mean, it's the best team in the world. If you go, obviously, they've won the Champions League. They won the World Club World Cup. Uh, I'm not going to get in that sort of debate, but... Oh, if I had to choose, if I had to choose, you've got Kante in this one. So you don't have trouble, we've got Lukaku. Mount, obviously, we do have Chilwell and Zé Alonso. This is just a, you know, there at one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to choose. Mm. Nostalgia's going to tell me to go for the FIFA 12, 2012 team. I might just have to go for this current team now. I prefer the 2012 team by a mile. But just because it's got the characters in it. But that's a nostalgia thing. I can't split them. You know what? I can't split them. Do it in the comments. Right, I mean, this isn't really going to comparison. This is a, a Liverpool team that doesn't take over by Kenny Dalglish for about a year before after getting out of the Roy Hodgson era. Still got some good talent. I've got Pepe Reina, I've got Gerard still. I've uh, got Carragher, of course. I've got Suarez have just come in. I mean, they were starting to move towards the kind of uh, Brendan Rodgers era where it got a bit better. But still, I mean, if you look at their team now, no real comparison. You know, it, it was starting to, it's still banned here at Liverpool, let's be honest, but starting to get out of it more. Um, but yeah, they still had talent there, they're definitely growing. Of course, you'd expect a team like Liverpool to have talent still. Um, but also, if you compare it now, it just kind of highlights how well that club's come forward. I mean, everyone knows this team, I don't really need to go into it really, it's just brilliant.
I mean, now they're, you know, and they're starting to get some good young players to kind of say, look, these players will be retiring soon, we need to keep this era up. So it's no comparison, really, is there? I mean, there's some really decent and iconic players in that Liverpool score at the time, of course, but, yeah, fair play. This is going to be a tough one to decide. Obviously, this is the iconic team that won their first title with the Aguero winner. And you look at it now, and sort of go, ah, oh, no, you got Mick Richards, he's a guy that laughs on TV, you know, some of the younger crowd. But this was a really good team, and they did really well to win the league against Man United's team that season. I think the main fault with Man United was De Gea's first season, and he just was awful, to be honest. He just they hadn't adapted to English football at all. Uh, Man City were class that year. Um, this is going to be so interesting, because they had so much time. They were still kind of, for me, building at this stage. They're kind of, maybe I'll just because I didn't hate them as much as I do now, because I'm just bored of them winning everything. <laughs> But, oh, Adam Johnson, good one. He's nonsense, isn't he? Owen Hargreaves, you've got to add that. A new old good lad. He did work hard with Conan and Benny. Nimely, the man himself. Obviously, on FIFA, this, I don't think it seems as high rated. But let's compare it. So you've got, you've got Edison now. And Joe, Joe Hart was iconic at that time. All right? I know he didn't go away, but he had a very good season. Interesting. They got De Bruyne now. I mean, obviously, they don't have Aguero anymore, but they don't need a striker. They've got either Foden or whatever. I'm going to go... My favourite team, of course, was the 2012 one. That's something about it. This has probably got a stronger squad, though, because they're more complete. They've been at the top more. You're in the sort of Man City domination phase more now. So I think it only should be better, this one. it's. I prefer the first one, but this might just add it, you know.